Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Osprey Apogee, which is a really lightweight and comfortable 28 liter all-purpose bag. And when I think about Osprey, my mind normally jumps a little bit more to a travel-focused bag. On the channel, we've taken a look at the Farpoint 40, which is one of the most popular one-bag travel options that's on the market, but I've been very impressed to see the variety of daily focus bags that Osprey also has. When I saw this bag, it really made me think a lot of the North Face Borealis backpack, which we looked at pretty recently, which was a very solid all-purpose bag, really durable. It also came in at a price point that wasn't, you know, going to break the bank. So I really like, you know, kind of finding that style of bag for anybody who's looking for something reliable, but still trying to save a little bit of money, particularly during these tough times. So I've been testing out the Apogee over the past couple of weeks, and so far it's been a great experience. The bag has been very comfortable to wear. It's super lightweight. It has a great build quality, and it also offers an impressive amount of space. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. Many of the Osprey bags that I've seen in the past have more of an outdoorsy or technical vibe. They have compression straps along the front and outside, so they just look very functional. But I like that the Apogee is a little more minimal. You really don't have as much going on on the front. There are some compression straps, but it's just a much more subdued style that feels like it's gonna blend in a little bit better into an office environment while still being good for walking around the city or even taking it into the outdoors on a hike. And the version of the bag that I have here is the gray version, but it comes in a black and olive and a few other colors that you can check out on Osprey's site. And then moving on to the materials, on the exterior, the bag is made out of a nylon dobby mixture, which feels like it's gonna hold up well to rougher usage and also offer a nice amount of weather resistance. But what's really impressive about this material here is how lightweight it is. The bag comes in at 1.8 pounds, which is really impressive considering how comfortable and protective everything feels. And this is gonna be particularly helpful if you wanna use this for any sort of international travel. And then on top of the nice exterior material, you also have some great and well-protected YKK zippers all throughout. And then continuing along the outside of the bag, I was very happy to see that you have some external water bottle pockets. And I like the implementation here. They have this very elastic material that's gonna allow you to hold a larger water bottle when needed. Currently what I have in here is the 20 ounce water bottle that I featured in a lot of my other daily bag videos. And that fits in there really comfortably. You can see that the compartment is nice and deep. So anything that you place in here isn't gonna fall out accidentally. And then because of this material, in addition to shaping around larger objects, it's also gonna make sure that the pocket it hugs the bag when it's not in use to make sure to keep a cleaner look. At the top of the bag, you have a very nice handle that has this durable seatbelt like material that feels like it's not going to tear when the bag is a little bit more packed out. And it's also thick enough that this is comfortable even when the bag is heavier. And then rounding out on the exterior, here on the front, you have a small little loop where you can attach something like a bike light. And then you also have compression straps on each side that are going to allow you to compress the bag down to make it slimmer when it's a little bit emptier. And then are also going to serve as attachment points when you have some extra gear to carry. One nice thing about these compression straps is that there seems to be this little pocket here along the front where you can hide these away when they're not in use to give the bag a little bit of a more minimal look. And then taking a look at the capacity, the bag comes in at about 28 liters, which is a really versatile size in my opinion. I was easily able to hold all the items that I normally like to carry with me on my day to day. And I was also able to pack this out very well as a minimal travel bag. And I like that even when the bag is a little more filled out, it still maintains a very slim silhouette, making it great for navigating crowded areas, jumping onto public transit and carrying onto pretty much any domestic or international airline. And then moving on to the straps and the back panel, this is an area where Osprey's bags always excel. The harness system has been very comfortable to wear here. I love how the straps have been implemented. They have this nice foam here that's very soft right out of the box on the inside. They have this meshy material to help prevent moisture from building up. And then the straps also have a nice width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. One thing I wanna note about the straps here again is just how lightweight the foam that's used here feels. Even though it's very comfortable, it just helps to eliminate some of the additional weight that comes from the bag itself. And then also on the straps, you have a very nice adjustable and removable sternum strap to help distribute the weight. And this sternum strap also has a little safety whistle on the buckle. And then moving down to the bottom of the bag, you also have an adjustable and removable strap that you can place around your waist to help add a little bit more support. Personally, I always like to remove this type of strap as it just 
It doesn't really add much additional padding or comfort. As you can see, it's just a very thin strap. But if you're riding on a bike or something like that, this does kind of help prevent the bag from shifting around. So it's still nice that it was actually included with the bag. Moving into the back paneling, this has also felt very, very comfortable. I love the amount of padding that's been included here. It's really soft and then you have this breathable mesh to help prevent moisture from building up. I also like that the padding has these ridges and a lot of elevation here in the middle to create this large air channel to help with ventilation while you're walking around during the day. Jumping into the organizational options, the bag keeps things pretty simple, but they offer a nice amount of pocketing all throughout. So first up on the front, you have a very nice quick access pocket. And I like how it has this little lip that comes over the zipper to help add some additional protection. And I really love these zipper pulls that Osprey uses. They just have a very nice grip to easily open up the pockets. And so a nice amount of volume here. I really love how much stuff you can actually place even though they're larger items. So taking a look at what I currently have, I have this small power adapter from Belkin that's a little bit bulkier. It has some USB ports and I can use this to plug in at a coffee shop. And then I also have my sunglasses with their case. And then I also tossed in my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. So even with those items in there, it wasn't overly packed out. I can easily place my hand in there. You can see how deep it goes. And then a nice thing about this pocket is that it has this softer material on the inside that's gonna help prevent against scratching for anything more delicate that you wanna place in here. Next up on the front, you have a larger kind of admin area. And in order to get into this compartment, you have to release the compression straps. And so this has a nice wide opening so that you can store a ton of stuff. And a nice thing about this compartment is it actually goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So you can store some taller items in here as well. And it actually has an impressive amount of volume, particularly for when you're using this for travel. You can toss in things like a dop kit, which is what I currently have here. This is my air dop kit. And then I also tossed in near the bottom the Bellroy Classic pouch, which has some of these smaller tech accessories that I like to take with me. So those both fit pretty comfortably near the bottom. Again, an impressive amount of space. And then at the top, you just have a series of small elastic slip pockets for any just kind of smaller accessories that you need to grab while you're on the go. So I like that these are elastic and they have this soft kind of mesh that feels very durable. So on the left, you have a slip pocket that's gonna be a good size for holding something like an Apple Magic Mouse, which is what I currently have there. And then in this middle one, which is probably the largest one, I have my Blue Pot portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank. And then all the way on the right, I just tossed in a simple USB-C hub for my MacBook Pro. And then the last thing that I'll call out in this compartment is that you have this small lanyard with a nice plastic clip here that's gonna be a great spot to attach something like your keys or a multi-tool. And then the last area that we're gonna take a look at is the main compartment. And so this is a top loading bag, but the compartment opens up wide enough that you can easily see what's on the inside. And so at 28 liters of capacity, this has a ton of space. I was really impressed with how much I was able to fit in here. I actually packed it out for both kind of minimal travel and everyday use. It's rare to have a bag that can hold almost everything so comfortably. And I really love that it's great for holding bulkier items. You really get a lot of volume and the main compartment sticks up a decent amount. And so even with the items that I have in here, you can see it's not overly packed out. I still would have had some room to toss in an extra maybe pair of shoes if I wanted to here on the front. And so jumping into what I currently have here, I just tossed in at the top my Beats Studio wireless headphones. And then I also tossed in my larger double-sided and compressible packing cube, which fit in there very easily. And so now with the compartment a little bit empty, you can see just how much capacity it has. It comes up a nice amount. I also like the green liner that's on the inside to make it a little bit easier to see what you need to get to. And so besides that, not a whole lot of organization on the front of the compartment. They keep things very simple. And then on the back, you have a nice sleeve that's gonna be a great spot to hold something like some documents or a tablet. Currently what I have here is my iPad mini and that fit in there very comfortably, but this would definitely be a good spot to hold a full size tablet. It's gonna have more than enough space. This however, isn't super padded. It's more of just a simple slip pocket. So I would have liked to have seen this be a little more rigid to offer some extra protection if you wanted to use this for a tablet. And then the last thing we're gonna take a look at in this main compartment is the laptop sleeve. And I really like the implementation here. The sleeve offers a decent amount of padding. It's a little bit more rigid than what we saw on the tablet sleeve. And then it offers a nice amount of space. Currently what I have here is a 13 inch MacBook Pro, but you can see there's plenty of leftover space at the top if you wanna store a 15 
or 16 inch laptop. And one of my favorite things about this sleeve is that it's actually suspended off the bottom of the ground. So if you happen to place your laptop down a little bit harder, it's gonna be very well protected. And I like that the sleeve is also pulled off away from the sides of the bag. So you have a lot of peace of mind, regardless of how you're moving around during your day to day. And then pulling my laptop out, now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. And I like that this comes up a decent amount. So if you happen to have a thicker device, it should be able to fit in here okay. And there's no sort of fleece lining on the inside, which would have been nice to see to help prevent against scratching. But regardless, it really feels like my laptop is gonna be very well protected while I'm running around throughout the day. And so I just really love the layout of this main area and the amount of space that's offered. And just all throughout the rest of the bag, everything is very well thought out. I really like the style of the bag. And if you're looking for a larger everyday carry or minimal travel bag that's gonna be lightweight and offer a fantastic harness system, then this is gonna be a great option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Osprey Apogee over the past couple of weeks. The bag has been very comfortable to wear. It has a solid build quality. I really love the amount of space that it offers and it also comes with a really nice organizational layout. And so you can currently purchase this on Osprey site or places like Amazon or REI for about $100, which in my opinion is a pretty reasonable price considering the features and build quality that the bag has to offer. And it also compares very well to other similar bags in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of was the North Face Borealis backpack, which we looked at recently. And that bag had a very similar capacity and build quality. It also came in at a similar price point. Now that bag is gonna be a little bit heavier than this, but I also think it has a slightly more comfortable harness system just because it has some extra padding, which definitely adds to the weight a little bit, but it has a great build quality. It's not gonna have quite as minimal as a look as this one because it has some webbing on the front that gives a little bit more of a hiking or outdoorsy vibe, but it's just a great all-purpose bag. And if you're looking for something reliable that's gonna offer a lot of space and great protection for your tech, and that's gonna be a great bag to check out. The next bag this made me think of is the Evergood CPL28, which we also took a look at recently, and that is a very solidly built bag. It has an awesome minimal aesthetic that's just gonna blend in very well into any environment. That one also has a pretty comfortable harness system. It's not quite as comfortable as this one. It doesn't offer the same ventilation on the back panel, but it just has a rock solid build quality. I really love the organizational options on the CPL. It's just gonna offer some extra pockets and it also has a clamshell style opening, which is gonna make it really nice for you know packing if you want something that's gonna work as a minimal travel bag. Now that one's gonna come in at a slightly higher price point, but if you're just looking for something with a very minimal vibe that you're gonna be able to take into pretty much any environment, then that's gonna be a great option to keep in mind. Another bag this made me think of is the Mystery Ranch Urban Assault 24, which is a very durable bag that has a comfortable harness system, a solid build quality. I really love the amount of space that it offers. At 24 liters, it's maybe a little bit smaller than this, but because of the way that you can organize everything in that bag, it really feels like you can hold about the same amount of stuff. That one has Mystery Ranch's tri-zip opening that allows you to open the bag like a duffel bag so you can easily see into the bottom of the bag so it's maybe a little bit easier to pack out. It has external water bottle pockets, a really well protected laptop sleeve so it really has some great options to check out. It's gonna have maybe a little bit more of a tactical vibe but if you're looking for something that's just very comfortable and it's gonna offer you a lot of different ways to access your stuff and that's gonna be a fantastic option to check out. And then the last option that I'll mention here, if you have a little bit of a higher budget, is the Air Tech Pack 2, which is a very minimal and stylish tech bag that has a comfortable harness system. It has a ton of organizational options. If you like for everything that you carry with you to have its own spot, and that bag is really a dream for just kind of organizing everything. It also offers an impressive amount of space. It's not gonna be quite as big as this one, but you can still fit a lot into that bag. It has a great laptop sleeve, and that one's just gonna have a very professional and kind of modern look. So if you're looking for something that has a lot of weather resistance, a comfortable harness system, and that's maybe gonna work a little bit better in a professional environment, and that's gonna be one of the best options to check out. With that being said, the Osprey Apogee holds up really well against all those bags. And if you're looking for a versatile and lightweight all-purpose bag that's gonna offer plenty of space and a really comfortable harness system, then this is gonna be a fantastic option to check out. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think of the Osprey Apogee and how it compares to some of the other great daily and minimal travel bags that we featured on the channel. And if there are any similar options that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. 
And I want to thank you again for watching and supporting the channel. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.